Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Flatiron Crossroads Radio Hour, where the best in local, regional, and international entertainment lives. The Flatiron Crossroads Radio Hour is produced right here in beautiful Gloucester, Virginia, and Flatiron Crossroads is a nonprofit organization focused on entertainment education and live performances. You can find out more about us at flatironcrossroads.com. We have co sponsors this week at the Crossroads Dransfield Jewelers and Land Design of Virginia. Incorporated by owner and master goldsmith Don Dransfield, Dransfield Jewelers is located on Cary Street in Richmond's historic Shaco Slip. Dransfield Jewelers is recognized as one of the premier custom jewelry boutiques in central Virginia. Stop on by and try one of their superbly crafted works of art. Or find out more at dransfieldjewelers.com. This week at the Crossroads, we highlight yet another artist who was set to appear live at the Crossroads until the pandemic hit. And I got to tell you, everybody, I am sitting in my chair. I'm swaying side to side quickly, and I got my little bony butt wiggling in my seat because I am excited about this show. Speaking to this artist via email and hearing her music, I get chill bumps and it is so much fun. I feel the power of her purpose whenever I hear this woman sing. We're talking about Cora Harvey Armstrong. She's an independent gospel singer and songwriter and a licensed and ordained preacher. Cora Harvey Armstrong is a gospel singer and a daggone good one at that. So let's get right to it. Let's start off this show off of her Greater Is He album. It's Joy in Paradise on the Flatiron Crossroads Radio Hour.
Harvey Armstrong right here on the Flatiron Crossroads Radio Hour with For the Lord is Good, before that joy in paradise, and the Lord is good. You know what? Here's the thing. As a Christian, we're taught to love everybody where they are. So whether you're a believer or not, that's fine, but I got one thing for you. If you're not enjoying this music so far, there's definitely something wrong with you, and you need big-time help. I'm squirming and dancing in my chair. I am having a ball. Our co-sponsor this week, Land Design of Virginia. Nancy Dransfield, founder of Land Design of Virginia, creates gorgeous gardens that enhance your house and provide livable outdoor spaces. Land Design is the landscape architect firm that can take a project from beginning to completion with attention to detail and the customer's needs and desires. Learn more at LandDesignOfVirginia.com. L-A-N DesignOfVirginia.com. You know, one of the fun parts about doing this radio show and getting to know these artists is that we get to ask them certain questions. And one of the questions we normally ask them is describe your style of music. I think it's a pretty simple answer, but you know what? She says something right at the very end that I think is worthy of playing her response. So this is what Miss Cora had to say. Gospel music, um, the music about the good news of Jesus Christ, and I'm grateful to be a lover of his. And so in my younger years, I tried some secular music, but it just didn't fit me. But I do sing a little secular uh, music for weddings and certain special occasions, but gospel is my forte. Gospel is her forte. Let's hear more of that forte. From the title track of her Greater Is He album, Cora Harvey Armstrong, on the Flatiron Crossroads Radio Hour.
Are you burning down? Is your patience tested? Seems like each day There is nothing new So tired of working But you can't stay home Talking on the telephone But Jesus whispers He says I am here For you Sometimes slip and stumble But there's absolutely no chance That I will ever turn my back on any of you Cause I love you so I am the lover of your very soul Harvey Armstrong with I'm Here For You. Before that, the title track off of her Greater Is He album. I'm loving this show. We hope you're enjoying this show as well. Our co-sponsor this week is Tranfield Jewelers. Tranfield Jewelers is located on Cary Street in Richmond's historic Shaco Slip. Stop on by and try one of their superbly crafted works of art. Or find out more at transfieldjewelers.com. You know, we asked Miss Cora about her process of writing her music. And for every artist, I'm sure that's a completely different process. So uh, I was interested to hear about her individual writing process. This is what she had to say. 
God has been real good to me where I can go to scripture and write songs that he gives me the lyrics first and then the melody comes afterward. Very seldom does he give me the melody first. One of the songs I've written called I'm So Grateful. Uh, my dad has been going to heaven since 1999, but in this particular dream that I had, daddy gave me that song. And so I was so grateful to get that. And I know it was a gift from him and a gift from God that I am so grateful for that opportunity to write something that my dad brought to me straight from heaven. <laughs> you know, I don't say this very often, but there are some people that just radiate joy, love, positivity, and just listening to her speak. You can hear in her voice that she's full of love. She's full of joy. Her heart is at peace. Have I said this yet? I'm enjoying this show. So what we're going to do now, get back to the music, and we're going to play the song that she just spoke about that her father sent to her. It's I'm So Grateful by Miss Cora on the Flatiron Crossroads Radio Hour. For 
That's Miss Cora Harvey Armstrong with I Will Praise You, O Lord. And before that, I am so grateful. And I am so grateful that you've decided to join us this evening on the Flatiron Crossroads Radio Hour. We will be right back with more right after this message. Folks, let's face it. The past few months have been stressful on everyone, individually in many ways. And businesses have either thrived or plummeted to either near or complete shutdown. Kaput, gone. The current situation here at Flatiron Crossroads is plummet. During the Phase 1 shutdown, we had to cancel all shows. But now, we planned on doing shows outside where people could be safer rather than inside. But there seems to be a lot of red tape on us being allowed outside and to bring Flatiron Crossroads back to life while bringing you the best in live music. So, we might be able to be inside while limiting the number of attendees. But folks, even that won't pay the bills. Long story longer, Flatiron Crossroads needs your help. If you enjoy this program and if you enjoy Flatiron Crossroads and what it represents both as a venue and what it does for our community, go to flatironcrossroads.com right now and make a donation. Your donations could help Flatiron Crossroads limp along until we can fully reopen or get approval to be outside. Otherwise, this may go away. Thank you for your help in advance. Back with more of Cora Harvey Armstrong here on the Flatiron Crossroads Radio Hour. You know, you can tell she loves what she does. She loves singing. She loves performing. We asked her, when were you first affected by music? I guess that was back when I was in elementary school. I've always been a singer. My mom used to sing uh, when we were little girls, when we were four, five, and six years old. It was just a joy to sing with her. She played piano and she sang a lot in the area churches. And then she started taking us with her to sing with her. 
And then we were started to uh, get invitations to come and sing on children's programs and all that kind of thing. So I, I kind of got an early start in music and I was five years old when I started playing piano. And so music has pretty much always been in my life and I'm so grateful. Been some highs and some lows and some things just didn't turn out the way I expected, but I'm still grateful for every lesson I learned and I'm still going at it now at 64 years old. God has been really good to me. Indeed he has, and Miss Cora, you've been good for us tonight. Let's get back to the music and hear more of Cora Harvey Armstrong with Get Up When the Lord Calls on the Flatiron Crossroads Radio Hour. And the 
Take my hand Precious, precious Lord And lead me home For at the river I'm gonna stand That's Cora Harvey Armstrong with Precious Lord. Before that, get up when the Lord calls, right here on the Flatiron Crossroads Radio Hour. Our co-sponsor for this hour is Land Design of Virginia. Nancy Dransfield, founder of Land Design of Virginia, creates gorgeous gardens that enhance your house and provide livable outdoor spaces. Learn more at landesignofvirginia.com. Every performer in their lives has a memorable experience, the performance that they'll never forget. So we asked Miss Cora, what was your most memorable performance? God blessed me to perform in a play called Mahalia. I, I portrayed Mahalia Jackson, one of my mom's favorite singers, and I portrayed her life. I'm at the Swift Creek Mill Playhouse some years ago, and that performance led to Tom With, the director there, writing a play about my life called Living in the Light. And the challenges that I have lived through. And then further on down the road, he wrote another play about my sisters and me called Those Harvey Girls. And it's just so many wonderful opportunities that God has given to us um, to sing and and to, um, you know, just tell our story because all of us got a story. Everybody's got one. And I'm grateful for the uh, opportunity that God has given me to share mine with the world. You know, to have a play written about you, it's so amazing. Let's get back to her music right now, off of her Greater Is He album. It's you and not man on the Flatiron Crossroads Radio Hour. While sitting on the side of my bed, God's Spirit came to me. It shook me up to say the least when He said, This is not how your life should be What does it matter what you sing When Father is not pleased with your life It should only matter that you sing Cause God is in your life Oh, Holy Father in heaven Forgive me, Lord, and help me to understand that you gave these gifts to me to please you and not man. So now when I lift my voice to sing, I try hard not to think about what my voice may sound like or what the people think. I just want God's words to come out. anointed to sing for the Lord and that this is no show Oh Holy Father in heaven up above Lord forgive me of my sin 
Harvey Armstrong with I Must Go Through, and before that, You and Not Man. All of these songs during the show tonight are off of her Greater Is He album. Our co-sponsor this week is Dranfield Jewelers. Incorporated by owner and master goldsmith Don Dransfield, Dransfield Jewelers is located on Cary Street in Richmond's historic Shaco Slip. Stop on by and try one of their superbly crafted works of art, or find out more at dransfieldjewelers.com. Back with more of Miss Cora Harvey Armstrong and her song titled The Just Shall Live by Faith right here on the Flatiron Crossroads Radio Hour.
Harvey Armstrong with Not Guilty. Before that, the just shall live by faith. I'm so enjoying this evening. We hope you're enjoying it as well. Our co-sponsor for this hour is Land Design of Virginia. Nancy Dransfield, founder of Land Design of Virginia, creates gorgeous gardens that enhance your house and provide livable outdoor spaces. Learn more at landesignofvirginia.com. Here she is again, Cora Harvey Armstrong with I Has Not Seen on the Flatiron Crossroads Radio Hour.
We're about to wrap up this hour of the Flatiron Crossroads Radio Hour, but with this hour, there's one song that we cannot leave out by this magnificent voice, and I've saved it for last on purpose. Here she is, Cora Harvey Armstrong, with Amazing Grace on the Flatiron Crossroads Radio Hour.
that does it for this week of the Flatiron Crossroads Radio Hour featuring Cora Harvey Armstrong. Please check out her album, Greater Is He. God bless you and thank you for the opportunity to talk to you. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us here at the Crossroads. Our program is an independent production of Flatiron Crossroads, produced by Ray Friend, theme music by Walt Stillman, engineered by yours truly, and support comes from our sponsors, Land Design of Virginia and Dransfield Jewelers. And from you, our listeners and audience members. As a nonprofit organization, Flatiron Crossroads depends on your support now more than ever. Please visit flatironcrossroads.com for a listing of how you can help. Make a donation, volunteer, make a donation, or make a donation. Seriously, we thank you in advance, and we look forward to seeing you next week at the Flatiron Crossroads Radio Hour.